Things have taken an exciting turn at the League of Legends LOL medal event at the 19th Asian Games in Hangzhou, China. Two LOL powerhouse nations, China and South Korea, went head-to-head -head in a star-studded semi-final match that ended with South Korea defeating China in a 2-0 sweep. China were one of the teams that were guaranteed a playoff spot through the road to Asian Games qualifiers, which took place back in June. Meanwhile, South Korea qualified through the group stage after sweeping Group A. Despite being the most anticipated matchup, South Korea and China were denied the opportunity to face each other in the gold medal match due to the group stage draw. In the first game, both teams were equally matched in goal and EXP in the landing phase. However, the South Korean team's jungler, CEO Kennedy Jin Hyok, was timely in his ganks and map rotation. Helping the team's AD carry, Park ruler Jae Hyuk, to get fed early with three kills. China, on the other hand, focused on taking objectives and slowly peeling their opponent's turrets. However, the aggression of the South Korean team kept them from progressing further, with Jong Chovi Ji Hoon's Azir and rulers Kaiser picking off members of the Chinese team in skirmishes and team fights. Team South Korea found an opportunity to open up China's mid lane after winning a team fight, which allowed them to open up China's base and eventually destroy Chinese Nexus in 29 minutes with a 12 5 kill lead. China took the blue side in the second game and went for a double AD carry team composition, picking Tristona in the mid lane and Jinx in the bottom lane, along with the currently popular Rel for support. Meanwhile, the Korean team went for beefier team composition, with Jax in the top lane and more firepower in Ziri in the bottom lane. The Chinese team were aggressive in the first half of the game taking four kills and doing their best to keep their early gold lead against South Korea. However, South Korea found an opportunity to catch up in a fight at the Dragon Pit, where they were able to take both the Dragon and three kills against the Chinese team. The South Korean team then continued to try to find opportunities to pressure their Chinese opponents and eventually take the gold lead. This allowed them to rotate across the map freely and gain better vision control and box out the Chinese team from bigger objectives like the Baron. The Chinese team, on the other hand, did their best to find opportunities for a comeback. However, the South Koreans' vision control on the map was so deep that it made it difficult for the Chinese to find flanks. China once again tried to contest the Elder Dragon, but was swept in a clean ace by the Korean team at the 36-minute mark. This gave the South Koreans the chance to finally finish all of China's inhibitor turrets and destroy China's nexus, allowing them to take the second game and win the series with an 18-6 kill lead. South Korea will be facing the winners of the semi-final match between Vietnam and Chinese Taipei at the gold medal event on Friday, September 29th at 7 p.m. Singapore time. Meanwhile, China will still be competing against the losing team of the semi-final match between Vietnam and Chinese Taipei at the bronze medal match on the same day at 2 p.m. Singapore time.